All right, I know you've all been waiting for this. And sorry it's taken me so long to put this together, but we've had the holidays here of Thanksgiving and we've had family over for quite a while. So had to wait for things to settle down here before I can get to this. But anyway, uh, as a little bit of a background, I know y'all want to know what the scientific name is for the Louisiana swamp worms. <clears throat> as I mentioned, a little background on this is I, I got the worms from Trapper over at uh, Mission Worm. And he got the worms from Terry Unger in Simpsonville, Carolina. And Terry has been raising them for almost 25 years. Um, they got the worms from a worm farmer in Arkansas. And the worms originated from the swampland area in the Deep South. Uh, so we've been told. Obviously there's no written documentation on that or anything. This is all word of mouth. But personal, uh, first-hand word of mouth. And according to Trapper... These are some of the best fishing bait uh, available to, to, due to the odor that uh, the worms put off. Uh, they handle um, heat and cold even better than red wigglers. Again, according to Trapper, this is his email to me. And he's finding that they are reproducing quicker. He hasn't had the species verified um, or identified um, and neither did Terry Unger in Simpsonville South Carolina okay let's see what else Trapper says he says uh, I have numerous fishermen swear by them um, and uh, the worms dive down in the bedding quicker than the red wigglers and are more active. Um, they have a dark reddish orange color and don't display the stripes that the wigglers have. Let's see. So that's all from Trapper. Um, how I came to get this species. Uh, identified is I, I wrote to the head of the Louisiana uh, Fish and Wildlife um, and he didn't know what the, the scientific names of the worms were either so I asked for a referral and he referred me to John Reynolds who is who has a lot of uh, I believe he's the medical or head research director of the Oligatology Laboratory in Kitchener, Ontario, Canada. So I contacted him and he was able to identify the species of worms. Um, Dr. Reynolds has years of experience of doing this. He if you um, look up John W. Reynolds or John Warren Reynolds, um, <clears throat> he's been doing this, I believe, <coughs> excuse me, for over 25 years. So his findings, I believe, to be correct. Now, let's get on to the worms. The Louisiana Swamp Worms, he says, according to Dr. Reynolds, the worm is Dendrobina veneta, Rosa 1886. The species has been imported to the USA for potential vermicomposting. It has frequently been misidentified as Isenia hortensis, and is very close to a non-striped form of Isenia fetida. Um, the color is dark red purple, dark red hyphen purple. And he didn't have 
access to DNA testing, but morphologically it fits Dendrobina veneta. And I asked him uh, several questions regarding uh, this worm. I asked him, well, what is the common name for this worm? <clears throat> and he says, Dendrobina veneta is known as the compost worm in the United Kingdom. However, um, you know, common names really don't mean anything because anybody can give a name to the worm. So, just like the Louisiana swamp worm. So, there goes that. Um, the temperature range that they live in is 12 to 25 degrees Celsius which is equal to 53 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Their reproductive rate is continuous if the conditions are favorable. The average number of young per cocoon is one to two. Time to emergence from the cocoon is 40 plus days. Time to sexual maturity is 20 plus days, depending on temperature, moisture, pH, and then the nutrient available in the food that it has. Um, let's see. Anyway, I wanted to emphasize that I did go online and did a search for Dendrobina veneta rosa 1886, and it seemed to be interchangeable with Isania hortensis or the European nightcrawler. And I mentioned that to him, to Dr. Reynolds, and he says in taxonomy there are lumpers and splitters, meaning they'll lump. <laughs> lump a species or what they think might be the species together or they'll split them apart. So in taxonomy there are lumpers and splitters. Some taxonomists use dendro Dendrobina veneta, uh, the same as they would Hortensis. He says the European nightcrawler is Lumbricus terrestris. This is why I am not a great fan of common names, although I was asked to do it for the Royal Ontario Museum book. And here in the United States, the European, I mean the Lumbricus terrestris, is known as the Canadian Nightcrawler, which is interesting. So yes, common names, you know, would be different for different species around the world. And <clears throat> Dr. Reynolds also made a note that there are about 7,000 terrestrial earthworm species, but we know the history and biology of only about 25. And he cites one of his uh, publications, one of his books, which is uh, nomenclatura Oligetologica um, online, which was um, authored by himself, Reynolds, and uh, another person with the last name of Wetzel, W-E-T-Z-E-L, so Reynolds and Wetzel. And he says common names are a problem as they are not universal. Tiger worm is not universal for Isenia fatida, other were other names for uh, Isania fetida are earthworm. I mean, I'm sorry, mature manure worm, not mature worm, manure worm, brandling worm, striped worm, red wiggler, compost worm, so forth and so on. Many worm growers invent their own name, which we know that to be true with the Louisiana swamp worm because didn't know what the um, scientific name is. So anyway, there you go. There you have it. The um, scientific name of the Louisiana swamp worm is Dendrobina veneta, named by Rosa. Is that what I said? Named by um, Rosa in 1886. Thank you very much and um, thank you for coming on this journey with me.